Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will see one more concept in generative AI that is a fine tuning. So in our previous sessions, we have discussed about prompt engineering. So in that we have seen a different types of prompts. So how we can get the optimal result in the AI model. So in today's session, we will see a fine tuning. Now, what is this fine tuning? So, actually, fine tuning means in order to get the optimal result, we will be changing the prompts or we will be changing the inputs. Okay. So, this fine tuning generally will say change or modify inputs. to get optimal result or output to get out optimal result or output so this fine tuning can be done on two ways so one is on prompt another one is on ai model so we can refine the prompt so that we will be getting the optimal result. So whatever the result we are expecting. So we will reach that by optimizing the prompts. That means every time we are changing the prompts. Okay. And coming to the AI model. So we will be using a different AI model. So what we have discussed is the GPT. GPT is also one AI model. Okay. Similarly, DAL E is also one a model so this is for a text generation and this is for the image generation right so whatever the two ways we can refine the inputs one is fine uh, fine tuning of a prompt as well as a fine tuning of a ai model now we will be seeing about this one fine tuning of ai model okay so we know this ai model is being trained using massive data set so a very large data set okay so the model will be trained by using the massive data set okay so this data set will be collected from articles internet or books right so this this data set will be prepared with the help of articles or internet or a books so this model which was already trained using this massive data set may not be give the optimal results for every prompt okay it may fail uh, rather than we can call it a fail it will not produce the optimal result for every concept Okay, for example, if we want to get uh, or generate the legal documents, legal documents or some medical prescriptions, medical prescriptions, right? So, we'll be, uh, this AI model cannot give. cannot give these things in an optimal way these things in an optimal way so in such cases what we have to do is we have to train the AI model or we can say we can retrain the AI model existing AI model in that particular aspects okay so that is called as a fine tuning so we can say Fine tuning is retrain, retraining of AI model in particular aspect, particular aspect. Okay. So once again, I'm saying whatever the models we are using, those are trained using the massive data set that may not give the optimal result for every information so best example this one these two things 
okay so in such cases we can retrain the ai model so here uh, it is not necessary to train the ai model from the scratch so already we can make use of the existing model and we can retrain the ai model in a particular aspect for example go to the legal documents so we will be giving uh, we will be preparing uh, the data set a small data set related to all these legal documents similarly we will be preparing a small database which are related to these medical prescriptions and we can train this model uh, whatever the existing model we can train that model or retrain that model in that particular aspect that means whatever the data set we have created so that makes or that gives the model and output uh, the optimal outputs whatever the output we require so best example i'll say you best example so if you are a student okay so if you are a student completed your graduation graduation okay completed your graduation in csc graduation in csc so you may aware about every concept or every computer technology right so if you want that doesn't mean that you are expert in all the areas okay expert in all the areas so if you do the same person if, if the same person done done uh, the post graduation post graduation in ai artificial intelligence right so that person will be expert on this particular area so you can consider this is an existing model okay so existing model can answer every question right not in depth but if the same person completed uh, the post graduation in particular string like uh, artificial intelligence then that person will be expert in artificial intelligence so this is a retrain fine tune fine tune okay so this is a best example for understanding what is a fine tune so this fine tune can be done for prompt or ai model now we are uh, discussing about this particular ai model fine tuning of ai model now how it works how the fine tune works so step 1 but what is the step 1 consider existing model if it is an image we can use uh, dali if it is a text we can use a uh, gpt and step 2 choose a particular aspect here the particular aspect means it will be any concept okay, okay any concept next step 3 create a data set on chosen aspect whatever the aspect or whatever the area we have chosen so just create a data set on that particular chosen aspect next step 4 train the existing model with data set whatever the data set we have created with that particular data set just train the existing model step 5 test and observe the result what we are expecting
so this is how the fine tuning will be done okay so we need to consider the existing model either it may be a, a gpt or a dali now this is important we need to consider an aspect okay a particular area okay in which the ai model should be trained and then we need to create a data set okay from the previous results or uh, anything so we need to create a small data set on this particular aspect and finally we need to train the existing model so we can say it is a retrain retrain the existing model with a uh, simple data set and then uh, test and observe the result what we are expecting and if you, if you are not if, if the you are not satisfied with the result then again you just refine the training okay you need to add a more, some more uh, elements in the data set and you need to retrain the model okay so this is the thing how we can refine so advantages what are the advantages of using this fine tuning advantages so first one is accurate because so we are particularly asking about this that particular concept so we can get the results accurately right nowadays every website every company were using the chatbots right so if you open a website immediately one chatbot will be appearing so may may I help you it was asking about may I help you so you can communicate with the chatbot so it will be getting all the results i mean all the information about the products of that particular company so this is nothing but the fine tuning of existing model so they'll be using the existing model and they'll be retrained with the their own products so it will be ready to answer any kind of questions related to the company products so the result will be accurate okay and also efficient efficient the data whatever the results we are getting efficient and uh, consistent the data is a consistent the result will be optimal right so this is most important of fine tuning okay and this fine tuning is not equal to the prompt engineering so both are different so we, even we can fine tune the prompts also we can fine tune the prompts and also we can fine tune the ai model right so hope you understood about the fine tuning and uh, if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much